What was the sin of the spies? I mean, what did they really do? So this week, Rabbi Raphael, as always, he starts with King David, who is the ultimate uh, 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 Mepharish, right? The ultimate commentator of the Bible. And he starts with a verse from Psalms, which says, Trust in Hashem and do good. Dwell in the land and nourish yourself with faithfulness. So well, what's this got to do with anything? And Rabbi Raphael starts with a tip. He says, if you want something done, do what you can, but don't go overboard. Don't ever think that if you don't achieve something, it's because you didn't work hard enough, right? Someone uh, uh, becomes rich and says it's because I, I, I worked hard. Someone becomes poor, he thinks I didn't work hard enough. He says, no, always do what you can. Don't go overboard. We tend to go overboard. What's the problem with going overboard? It can lead to heresy. Why does it lead to heresy? Because you think to yourself, you know, I, I, I couldn't do what I did, you know, I, I didn't try hard enough. And as a result, you know, everything is by chance. Everything is by chance. The way Rabbi Raphael says we need to act and what King David is telling us, when he says to us, trust in Hashem and do good, it means do yourselves a favor. Trust in Hashem, meaning you want something done, do something to the best of your capability, but don't go overboard. And then have in your mind, pinned in your mind, that God is the one who's going to seal the deal. Only God can seal the deal. We've done our part, now we're waiting for God. Why does this uh, uh, um, ensure that we don't go astray and you know get into heresy? Because that way God is always pinned between our eyes. We are always in a mindset that we are trying, we are being capable, doing what we can, but God's going to seal the deal. God is always there. And as a result, we will always stay in line with what God wants because if we do our part, we can then hope that he will keep his part and, and you know help us with what we want. And Rabbi Raphael says this leads to a second thing. And that is also, and he gives the example of a businessman who in order to achieve some success will go over dangerous mountains and into dangerous cities. And he says, by taking this advice of trusting in Hashem and doing good, we're also saving ourselves. Meaning, you do what you can. Don't go overboard. Do what you can. Know that you've done a good job, but always have in your mind that ultimately the source of our strength is God. And then he says something beautiful, connecting it to the, the sin of the spies. And this is gorgeous. He says, uh, He says, the essence of faith, right? The core, the fundamental core of faith is believing in something that, our, that nor our minds nor nature can accept. That's faith. And that was the problem of the spies. That was the problem of, of the Israelites. It was that they, they couldn't accept something that their mind or nature couldn't accept. You see huge giants, you see a land that can't be conquered. No, he says, no, this is the problem. Tell yourselves you'll do the best you can. Don't go overboard and God will seal the deal. And that was their mistake. Faith is a matter of believing in something, according to Rabbi Raphael, that will always go again, that your mind and nature can simply not accept. Thoughts on the Torah portion of Shlach Lecha and the Sin of the Spies from Rabbi Raphael, the Angel Raphael Berdugo. Shabbat Shalom.